Today we're going to be taking a look at the CE Smith single axle trailer fender with top and side steps. Now fenders are designed to cover the tires on your trailer. They act as a splash guard to keep road debris from hitting other vehicles and to help protect your trailer's cargo. Uh, this is going to contain three steps total. So you're going to have one, two, and three, one on each side, one on top. It's going to let you easily climb into and out of the trailer. It's going to feature the molded in treads that offer secure footing, gives you a nice sturdy grip when you're using the step, making sure you don't slip or slide off. Uh, the unit does feature a weight capacity of 300 pounds. Here on the back side, it's going to have the built-in skirt that's going to provide some extra protection. That skirt height from here to the top is going to be about 11 and a half inches. Now the fender is constructed of a durable polypropylene construction. You don't have to worry about any rust or corrosion. It's black in color and the color is actually molded into the plastic so you don't have to worry about scratching or the color wearing off. It's also UV resistant so you don't have to worry about it fading. Now this is a bolt-on installation. The fender is designed to attach to your trailer's existing brackets. If you don't have brackets then you can purchase those separately here at eTrailer.com and the product's made right here in the USA. This is designed for single axle trailers with 14 inch diameter wheels. Um, the overall length edge to edge is going to be about 43 and 1 8 of an inch. The internal length, kind of from this point here to this point here, that's going to give us a length measurement inside length of 29 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. The overall width from front edge to back edge is going to be about 11 inches wide. And then the height of the unit overall, that's going to give us a measurement of about 12 and a half inches tall. Now when it comes to the steps, the side steps are going to measure six and a half inches by ten and a half inches, but the tread area on there is going to measure four and five eighths by eight and a half. The one here on top overall is going to be about six and a half by nine and the tread area is going to measure five and three quarters by seven and one eighth of an inch. That's going to do it for today's look at the CE Smith single axle trailer fender with top and side steps.